So hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and breaking news, we have stock photos for the Creepover Party dolls and, and the Budget dolls, apparently their name is Ghoul's Day Out. Also, new pictures of the car, first ever, and the bedroom playset, but we already, we already know how it looks like, so yes uh the pictures are up on entertainment earth right now their website and this is what it looks like on the website so for the creepover party series it says it pre-orders on october 17th and it will be coming in january so next year so everyone who has been finding these dolls early in stores that is some wicked luck because apparently they're not supposed to be coming out until next year january um they're gonna retail at 25 and then you know you can pre-order already here but it's just gonna take time and then uh new pre-orders again 17 wow that's a good price so these are the budget dolls uh for uh day out doll yeah so the budget based yeah budget dolls um also coming in january and then here we have twyla same price we have frankie budget uh claudine budget doll but claudine creepover and also the car retailing at 32.99 also coming in january next year so all the items are listed there right now if you're interested but now let's get into the first one which is claudine budget line uh also pictures from the, the dolly insider because um it was quicker to screenshot them there and then download them on the actual website so yes but um the original source is uh, on entertainment earth so yes they were just reshared from various people so here's claudine she looks great i mean i feel like these are just very simple versions of the actual coralie's outfits at least in my opinion they look very simplified but um i like that she doesn't have the top bun the top bun the little bun is gone it's just all there love that the earrings are different perhaps the, the glasses look a little bit chunkier um, and she has her little, uh, what was the retainer for her teeth or what is that? Um, her top is, I think this is like, these are the same pieces, like the top, that's long sleeve and uh, the black top, I think that's like one piece, I'm not sure, but it looks cool. She has some shorts on that look like the first outfit she has on in um, her, her Coralies, so but there it's like a whole um, onesie or whatever. It's like a, you know, so, it's a, it's, so here it's different. Um, but these look good. It's just, it's a very simple outfit, at least for Claudine. I wish she had gotten like pants or like something more interesting. Um, her purse looks interesting, that's for sure. Um, it's, it's, it's plastic, so that's great. <laughs> it looks cool, you know, and then her shoes are very simple, little boots with some fur details at the top. So that is Claudine. Uh, here's Frankie. Uh, Frankie looks really good. They're wearing uh, a dress here with some plaid motifs. Um, the sleeve part, I believe, is attached to the dress, so it's like all one piece. Um, that's a shame, but I get it. You know, it's like it's a dress. It's like all one piece. It's a dress, so it makes sense. Um, they're wearing this like big like um, belt necklace or something interesting looking a belt here as well uh so, oh yeah so they're wearing like a necklace that looks like it's attached to the belt or something it's very intricate looking it's all the same kind of like um color very silver uh look at this little ring that they're wearing it has zap written on it iconic um they come with a purse as well i like this purse more just because it looks more interesting um and they're, they also have a pizza slice, of course, they love pizza, and a little energy drink, it looks really cool, and the shoes, the shoes are different, technically speaking, but they just, they look very similar to the platform shoes that they already wear in the core release, so it's just, it's very similar, um, but still, a really cute outfit, and I really love it on them, so that's Frankie, and then here we have Draculaura. Um, same with Frankie, Dracula just looks very similar to uh, her um, Coralie's, the same headband, uh, different earrings I believe, same uh, kind of like corset top here, the shirt she's wearing underneath is different, it's shorter here, but looks like it's made out of the same material though, 
um, the skirt. It's a skirt here. The Coralie's was shorts, so that's different. But it looks like it's the same. It's the same fabric. It's just a different uh, structure. It's a, it, it's a skirt here instead of like shorts. Um, but it looks really cute. She comes with a new piece. It's a coffin bag. And uh, her socks do look very similar to her frilly socks that she comes once again in her core release. I feel like a lot of these designs are very basically like a copy paste, but just a little bit tweaked. Um, the standout for me, I think, are these shoes. These platform shoes with the little heart um, here and the heel, it kind of like forms a heart. It's so cool. I love these shoes. They're really the standout for me. Um, because she's kind of boring otherwise. So here's another shot of Claudine. Here's Frankie. I feel, yeah, Frankie just looks great. Oh, see, so the, the necklace is attached to the belt. I was right, I was right. It's just, it looks so cool, honestly. Um, the shoes do look awesome, but they just look so similar. The little charms there, they, they, they're bound to come off. They're gonna lose them for sure. <laughs> If you're not careful, um, Jackie Laura with her little SPF, you know, like sunscreen, uh, which is just a, a um, it's actually the same one. This, this is the same uh, piece that they use for the Gloom Beach Jackie Laura. So interesting. Look at these earrings. So like the bat wing earring. I love it. It does look really cool. Um, and then here's what they come with really. So yeah, little snacks and the purse. So yeah, now here's the car. Here's the car packaging in the box. Uh, Ghoul Mobile, I love the artwork and it does look big. It's like a really nice size. Um, and then when you actually uh, look at it, by the way, Monster News, thanks to them as well for reposting these. Um, it looks, it has a lot of different textures. Like look at this uh, pattern here. It looks like it's like chrome or something. It looks really interesting. Um, I love that features here with the lights they don't light up but it's a nice little feature the spider whip with glitter the ooze dripping down on the windshield um and then the seats they are molded to look like fur but they're not real fur it's still really cool detail um and i feel overall like it's a really nice car it's a really nice looking car um they come with accessories here like a little ice box for their drinks look at these drinks like with the little umbrella um little bottle and even a pet i don't know where you put the pet but it's an exclusive pet so that's awesome um and that's really how it looks like now here it is when there's dolls inside the, so the dolls are very they fit snugly so um the car does look a little small in scale i guess kind of like so i I've, maybe if it's a little bit bigger it would be a little more perfect like a better size comparison but it is still a very good size comparison it's just you know when they're sitting inside the car it just looks a little bit tight uh but here's a feature so you can obviously pull out the trunk and then it turns into like a little lounging area doesn't it look really cool and like i mentioned the ice box goes right there and then it can chill and just have a little sip um really cool it does look really awesome so i like the little features and that little nice little neat feature now moving on to Creepover, here we have Frankie. Uh, they look really nice. I like the high ponytail. Um, the robe is, is okay. Like I just feel like the robe being the same design on each ghoul is just kind of like, mm, you know, the, the, the shoes look like Uggs. Maybe that's, that's what they were meant to look like. That's really funny. Um, here they are lounging, uh, using their robe as a car, like a, as a little, um, you know, blanket. I wish they came with blankets or something. So, but um, yeah, the, oh, this is like a little um, docking station for a phone, which I bet is also like a, like a stereo. So that's really awesome, like a boom box. Um, the headband is really cute, the pillow, um, and here's everything that they come with. I feel like overall, it's just, I don't know, it's just like a basic look and I get it. It's like, we're going to sleep here. We're not going to the wrong way, but um, it could be better. I don't know. It's just a little bit meh for me. Um, but Watsi is really cute. They're in a new pose here as well. Here's Claudine. We're starting off with her feet. <laughs> the slippers are really nice. They're really cute. Look, it almost looks like Bigfoot, right? Look like Yeti or something like the Bigfoot um, monster. Uh, here's the outfit creep all day. Uh, I find it interesting that her balls are plastic not not fabric that's interesting um 
I do like the um, the hairstyle though. Look at the hair. It is a really cute hairstyle. I really like it. Unfortunately, like on the actual doll, it doesn't look that way. Um, and I was in, by the way, when these pictures came out, um, I was making another video where we talk about the real life pictures of the creepover party dolls. So stay tuned for that video um, that will come out shortly. <laughs> uh so that's yeah so here's a pizza box a pizza slice it looks really nice um oh that rhymed uh, so yeah i feel like claudia looks great i feel like her no makeup looks her no makeup look really looks good here by the way she does wear makeup here in the stock photos but on the actual doll as you'll see um she's not wearing makeup so it does look different um but yeah overall really neat I like this doll. I, it's just unfortunate that the the hair really doesn't look that way in real life. It's really unfortunate. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, here's Draculaura chilling with her face mask. Uh, Count Fabulous just laying there. Yeah, this is a really nice set with Draculaura as well. The slippers, the bat motif. I love that. Also, the outfit looks really nice. The shirt has fantastic written on it. And then she's almost like wearing like, um, like a layered... Uh, fishnet underneath her pants but i actually think that's attached um but it's a nice little feature it's a nice little illusion so that i do like that um the little robe in pink is really nice and the hot pink um and then the headband with the uh, bat ears is also really nice and i do like the way it looks like when she's wearing it's like it's really funny um, the pillow is plastic. I do wish the pillows were like maybe fabric, but I guess not. And she does also come where come with this little basket that you can put the uh, nail polish in. So I do like that. Um, see, it looks really fun when she's carrying it around. It's like she came prepared. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was Draculaura. And then the piece, the, resist the resistance, the best doll in this line is Twyla. Look at her. She looks stunning. Um, she is basically everyone's favorite from this lineup no questions asked no wonder why here she is lying there with dustin and her accessories now she doesn't come with like a rope so she's just she doesn't have like a little blanket or anything <laughs> she's just you know has her little bunny ears which is really cute they wrap around with uh with a little ribbon as you can tell here so it's not like a actual hood it's just like a little cap it's removable it's a really cute little cap um the outfit is really cute and she i think the main change here is that her hands are like a darker pink they're no longer like dark black or anything like they were supposed to look like in the original version they're like smoky hands here they just look really, really purple um on the actual doll it doesn't look that purple but it's still purple and pink so yeah, the bracelet looks cute, the hourglass and the little book she comes with, really nice. I just feel like her face up so adorable. Look at these spider earrings, um, and she even has little buttons in her eyes, in her pupils. I love that, honestly. And then sh her shoes, look at the little window there, motif in the heel of her shoe. The spiderweb design as well. And here's uh, what she comes with. Uh, like I mentioned, it's like a cap, it's removable. And I feel like she just looks really good also without the cap, you know, like without the bunny cap. Um, and she does also come with this little hair clip that you can put in. It really looks cute when she's wearing it. I do like how she looks like when she's wearing it. Um, also, her little bunny phone, adorable. It looks like really cute here. I like it, it's really nice. Um, and that is, I think, all we have of Twyla. I think she looks really great. And honestly, like if she got released, if she got released like this in the core series, um, I feel like this is also like just a good outfit. Period. Like no, it's not 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 necessarily like themed after like sleeping over or anything. I feel like this is just a nice outfit for Twyla. I mean, yes, it's a little casual, maybe a little more comfy, but. I feel like it still is very much like a core outfit that they could 
have released her in. You know what I mean? And yeah, that was so much to look at. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below. What do you think of these stock photos? Um, what are you planning to get? Which dolls are your favorite? Let me know down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. So you don't miss out when I post more Monster High doll news, doll reviews, episode reaction videos, a bunch more content coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with what the doll tea you love. Stay safe. Be kind. I hope this next time. Stay beachy. Kisses.